that's that's stuff on their own side. Alan, I was going to do some financial news in the final segment, but I want to hold you to the very end so we can take a few more calls. Are you game for that? Yes. Ten more minutes. Okay. Let's take another call here. Let's talk to uh, Mike in Texas. Mike, you're on the air. We'll just talk to Mike. Lloyd in Connecticut. Sorry. Lloyd, go ahead. How you doing, Alex? Good. Um, a friend of mine's uh, wife works for a big uh, HMO, you know. And three years ago, they had a meeting, and um, they discussed the flu. And her husband got so paranoid, he went out and bought, bought dried food. So, you know, how can they know that far in advance unless it's planned, you know? Sir, in January, we had emergency managers on and, and documents from major states where they were saying in November, December, millions were going to die. I'm not saying that's going to happen. The feds were telling police departments the citizens will attack you in the winter. So they're clearly getting ready for something. They're testing the water? I don't know. But, yes, they. this is all preplanned. Alan Watt. There's no doubt about it, too. In fact, there were... Uh, the, the rents, even John Holdren, when he wrote that book, Ecoscience, along with the, the other uh, big eugenicists and ecologists, which means Early. the depopulation experts, uh, they admitted then they'd have to find ways of putting things in the water and the food, and that was, what, 30 odd years ago. And you can go further back again into the Huxley's talking about the same thing, and Russell's putting stuff in the food. But, but Bertrand Russell, Lord Bertrand Russell, in charge uh, of one of the biggest departments inside the Royal Institute of International Affairs, said, they would also use the needle to bring to be the people a uh, compliance and, and to bring down the population. The yeah. needle is it, that's the worst to use. Many cases, folks, when these hospitals kill your family, your kids, just remember who did it, the New World Order. They think you're stupid. They think you're not going to notice what's happening. Final segment. Lloyd, stay there for comments from you as well. We'll be right back. Alex Jones here with a question. What does humidity mean to you? Most people think of hot and sticky summer days. But many people are beginning to realize that humidity can be a valuable source of pure drinking water. That's why I'd like you to visit acolablue.com. Acolablue is a state-of-the-art atmospheric water generator producing purified drinking water from the humidity in the air using reverse osmosis and a five-stage carbon and UV light filtration system which produces great tasting water at an unbeatable price. Finally, drinking water that you control. I use one every day. Say goodbye to expensive water delivery services and storing five-gallon bottles of water in your home. The Ecola Blue 28 is shipped right to your home, ready to make close to seven gallons a day right out of the box. They have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call Ecola Blue right now at 1-800-691-6043. That's 1-800-691-6043. Or visit Ecola Blue at E-C-O-L-O-B-L-U-E.com today. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central. We're here just trying to warn people. And like Alan Watts said, the biggest issue is to realize they're not talking about killing us in all these publications. They're doing it. And you've got to face that horror and read their own statements. And they've been caught. The U.N.'s been caught. The time for games is over. Get aggressive. There's more of us than there are of them. CuttingThroughTheMatrix.com is Alan Watts' website. He is a big part of the new film, Fall of the Republic, Volume 1. Hope you pre-order it because it's going to be shipped out in the order it's received. It's coming out in just 13 days. All right, let's go ahead. And uh, Lloyd in Connecticut, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. So, so you're making so, the well, point that, yeah, the internal people are freaking out about the flu. Go ahead. You know, uh, when I was a kid, uh, my, old, my old man, he wouldn't let us get a shot because everybody in his neighborhood... When he grew up, took the polio vaccine, and they all were, they were damaged by it, and he was terrified of it. And uh, I haven't, I've never had the flu, and I've never taken a shot. So I don't really think they do anything at all. I think it's just like smoke and mirrors. You know? Well, it'd be nice if it was just a scam, but but it actually does do something. I appreciate your call, Alan. Briefly tell him what it does to him. Well, there's no doubt. From their own writings, they admit uh, the top. There's thousands of, of uh, viruses they haven't even identified yet in every shot. Every shot for everything that they've ever given you. Uh, and this is the recent uh, explanation that they've given out at the top. Uh, but they do know that the ones that they have given you definitely and not only can, but do cause cancers. They, they do destroy your... Well, the inventor system. of the polio vaccine was in a CBC piece admitting it gave everybody cancer. But but, right. but it's but it's worse. Five years ago, the FDA approved, so did in England and so did Canada, they spray live 
viruses. In 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 uh, Latin, it means bacteria eating virus. I, I can't pronounce it. Bacteria yeah. Yes, but phalange, yeah. But they grow in these big vaccine tanks with thousands of other viruses, so they spray vaccine live vaccine on your meat now. Yeah, yeah, bacteria phages. Uh, and actually, they can kill off most bacteria. The, the, the Soviet Union didn't bother with antibiotics because they had uh, uh, bacteria phages since the 1930s. Uh, that was bought over. That whole, all their patents were bought over by a New York company and they've withheld them from the public. Uh, they don't want to give us uh, something that will kill off uh, bacterial infections. They want us to die off. That's why they bought the And instead over. it kills the good bacteria, so everybody then has intestinal problems. Yes. All, all done scientifically. Uh, let's uh, cram in one final caller here. Let's talk to Cheryl in Canada. You're on the air. Go ahead, Cheryl. Mr. Jones, Mr. Watt, good afternoon, gentlemen. I have two subject matters I'm hoping you can comment on. Oh, we got a minute a and a half. A great amount of money, or sorry, a great amount of gold disappears out of one of the mints in Canada. Can you speculate as to why? Disappears, poof. Henry well, a Potter. lot of foreign governments are recalling their gold from the West right now. Alan Watt. Yes, and to be honest with you, we'll never know what happens. I mean, uh, I watched a documentary where the guys who found the Titanic followed the North Sea route from the U.S. Uh, past Greenland to, to the Soviet Union, and it turns out that the U.S. basically emptied out uh, Fort Knox and put all their gold over to the Soviets, and a lot of the ships got sunk by the German submarines, and these guys actually found some of the ships that were stacked with gold bricks. Now, that was kept from the public right up until the present time. We're, we're, we're never in the true picture of reality at the bottom. Never, yeah, they just ever. do whatever they want. The public walks around like a bunch of zombies. Yeah. We're out of time. I appreciate your call, Cheryl and Steve and others. Call me back tomorrow and then, of course, Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Alan, great job in Fall of the Republic. Great job in everything you're doing. Folks should support you over there at cuttingthematrix.com. We'll talk to you again real soon. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Alex. You bet. And I want to thank all of our wonderful sponsors uh, as well that have made the show possible. I want to thank the crew in there, Nyhart, Hartman, Harmon, everybody else that is in there uh, doing a great job. The new trailer, the, the TV mind control trailer for Fall of the Republic is live at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com right now. Be sure and check it out. God bless you all. Retransmission with David Icke.